What's up guys, Lou here, and this is the official iPhone 5 speed test. We're going to be putting this device through a couple of benchmarks in order to get some feedback and then contrast those numbers against other older iOS devices as well as a couple of Android devices. So let's jump into the first test. We're going to use a tool called Geekbench available in the App Store. And as you can see here, it starts out by listing your system information. I've got the iPhone 5.1 running iOS 6 and ARM v7 at 1 gigahertz as well as 1 gigabyte of memory. Now, one thing to remember, guys, is that, you know, benchmarks aren't the be-all and end-all of phone performance. These things just act as a tool to give you a rough idea. After all, you know, you got to use these devices and the way you use them may be different than what the benchmark is doing. So keep that in mind. That's a quick disclaimer. But all that being said, this phone scores a beast score of 631, which is crazy. And you'll, know, you'll see why in a second once I compare it to some other phones on the market. Uh, getting more specific, you can see here the integer performance, integer score is 1271. Moving down a little further, the floating point score is 2113. And next we have the memory performance at 1762. And I believe the last thing to check out is stream performance at 9. 44. So that's some complicated data right there. I don't personally completely understand every element, but the overall Geekbench score, believe it or not, is faster than all of these devices listed here. You know, you had the Galaxy S3 at the top. You can see the iPhone 4S at only scoring a 632. So this is a fast phone. You don't have to worry about that, at least in Geekbench terms. So the next benchmark I want to run it through is a browser-based benchmark. This is called SunSpider, and it uses JavaScript to sort of gauge the performance of a, of a device, not just a phone, and how it behaves when trying to load certain elements of the web. And so as you can see here, I sped it up a little bit, but you've got another very impressive score, 909.7 milliseconds. Now in this benchmark, a lower number is better because it's basically going through and chewing through all that data in less time. So you're looking for a lower number. So 909 milliseconds, let's see how that stacks up against other stuff on the market in this particular test. So here you can see, once again, at the top of the chart, which is, you know, crazy to say again, the Galaxy S3 is up there as well, but below it. And then, you know, you can see some of the older devices, the Lumia 900 on the very bottom. You can slow down, you know, or pause that graph if you want to look at it in more detail. So what does this all mean to you? It means better web browsing, a fast phone overall, and you can browse awesome sites like thebeastfeed.com, like I was just browsing right there. That's a quick plug. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this particular test, then please remember to leave a like and favorite. And remember, this is just a benchmark. The numbers are really, really impressive, but don't go too crazy with it. I am impressed myself, and you should be too. Anyways, leave a like down below. I'll catch you in the next video. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Remember, I'm giving away an iPhone 5 as well. You don't want to miss out. Hit that button. See you guys later. Bye.